Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us this evening for this information session with William Patterson University. My name is Donna Mayer. I'll be coordinating tonight's event. I just have a few reminders for the attendees. First of all, take advantage of the situation, take advantage of the session and ask the questions that you may have of the representatives from William Patterson University. Be sure to use the Q&A button to type your questions and the presenters will be able to answer them for you either in real time or via the Q&A section. Make sure, uh, just so you are aware, your camera and your microphones are turned off so the presenters cannot see or hear you. So please take advantage of that Q&A box again. If you're looking to sign up for additional sessions, we, please, we do encourage you to do so. So there are more sessions scheduled at www.najakac.org backslash virtual fair. A recording of this session will also be available at the same link that I just mentioned. That is www.najakac.org slash virtual fair. And now, so you can take advantage of the full 45 minute session, here are the presenters from William Patterson University. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we are going to go through a brief presentation. If you have any questions, as the presenter mentioned, please feel free to put them in the chat and we will be glad to answer them at the end. Alrighty, so some of the topics that we are going to cover today is we're going to go a little bit into detail about uh, what we offer at William Patterson. We'll jump into our academics, we'll go over the application process, and then at the end we will go into our uh, question and answer section. Um, but without further ado, I'd like to introduce my colleagues that are joining us today. I'll allow them to introduce themselves and then we'll take it from there. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Nicole DeVeza and thank you so much for joining us tonight. My name is Melissa Zola. I'm one of the assistant directors at Lane Patterson and ready to answer any questions you may have. Thanks guys. And my name is Tyler. I'm one of the admissions counselors as well. All right. So on our next slide, um, you will see this is a picture of graduation. Um, our ultimate goal at William Patterson is to get to graduation in four years. Traditionally, our graduation ceremony is held at the Prudential Center in Newark, so it's a very, very exciting time for our students. Um, this year, due to the pandemic, things were a little bit different, uh, but traditionally, we do host graduation at the Prudential Center. On our next slide, um, you're going to learn a little bit more about us. As you can see, we were founded back in 1855. Um, we have grown tremendously since then. We were primarily founded as an education school, but we've grown a lot since. We're located in Wayne, New Jersey. We're roughly only about 20 miles outside of New York City, so it does lead to great, great internship opportunities as well as job connections for our students. At William Patterson, you are getting an exceptional education at a very affordable rate. We'll touch on tuition a little bit later. Um, within our 410 full-time faculty members, we do have 43 Fulbright Scholars among our faculty. A Fulbright Scholar is someone who has gone to another country, they've done extensive research, kind of learned the culture, and brought all that they've learned back um, to the United States to teach our students inside of our classroom. So, so it's really cool. You're kind of getting that outside of the U.S. experience at William Patterson. We are one of the most diverse institutions in New Jersey, which is something we really do take pride in. And this past fall, we were just recognized as a National Hispanic Serving Institute, which is a great, great achievement for a university to obtain. On our next slide, a little bit more about us. 30% of our students do choose to live on campus, of which 50% of that 30% are freshman students. The great thing about William Patterson is if you are interested in living on campus, you are gonna be guaranteed housing for your entire academic career. So if you are a first time freshman student, you're gonna be guaranteed housing all four years. If you're an advanced standing student, it'll most likely be two years. For anyone that's interested in sports, we are division three and we have 13 NCAA teams. If you do wanna do sports, but you're not interested in doing the NCAA, we do have club level and intramural level, intramural level available as well. Um, our students are very active and engaged on our campus though, of which we have over 120 different clubs and organizations for our students. The great thing though is that if for whatever reason we don't have something that you were specifically looking for, what's really nice is that it only takes you and 14 other students to start up one, which is really, really cool. Going on to our next slide, um, you are going to see that we have a very, very supportive campus here, William Patterson. Um, we kind of break it up into three different sections. You have that academic support, the social and well-being support, and then the career support. 
So all of our first time freshman students that are joining us today, you will be going through a first year foundation program, um, which our president Hel Dobler rolled out probably about two years ago now, which we have a new course, which is known as Willpower 101. This course is specifically designed to help you transition from high school to college because we know how much of a challenge it can be. Um, so what's really nice about that class is it's going to be taught by a faculty member who will get you from very familiar with all of our resources that we have on campus. So then if you are struggling, say, academically wise, we'll get you familiar with our tutoring center. If you're struggling to write an essay, we'll get you familiar with our writing center. Um, so we really, really do our best uh, to get you on that right path to succeed. In regards to the social aspect of things, we do have a new student experience office, as well as campus activities who kind of oversees all the clubs and organizations. I mentioned earlier, our students are very, very engaged with our campus. Whether you are commuting or you're living on campus, most of our students do engage in some type of club or something. Um, and in, in regards to career, we have a career development office who traditionally works with our juniors and seniors. The great thing about our career development office is they are gonna help you um, kind of build a resume if you don't have one. They'll help you update your resume if you do have one and they'll actually conduct mock interviews with you. Um, so you're basically ready to go when it comes time for you to apply to a job and they'll actually do some uh, searching for internships as well too. So we really do our ultimate best to get you um, on that path to succeed. So we are going to um, talk about our academics that we offer here at William Patterson. We have five different academic colleges at the university with 250 major uh, combinations of majors, minors, and concentrations. So there's a lot of things that students can do while they're here at William Patterson. So there we go. Um, starting with, off with our College of the Arts and Communication. So with the College of Arts and Communication, we have um, three different sections that fit into this one area. Um, so you have your area of performance with music, you have an area of visual arts, and then an area of communications. So with the um, music department, we have a jazz or classical section, so it depends on which um, uh, track you're interested in going through. Understand that the jazz program is our more competitive program at the university. Um, and we are ranked one of the top five jazz programs in the nation. So again, uh, you're really learning from the best in that, that program for sure. Um, that does come with an audition process and later in the presentation, we'll go over what that's gonna look like a little bit. And then you have our um, area of the visual arts. So we have a general art studio program, an art history program, and then a BFA program. So the BFA is a little bit more specific, so that does make it um, a talent-based program. So you will need to do a portfolio review to get into there. And again, we'll go over a little bit more of that information soon. Um, and then we have our communications department. So here you can see our radio station, um, 88.7 Brave New Radio. Um, and so this is a great place that uh, students can become involved right from the beginning of freshman year. Um, so we have also a TV studio on campus. And even if you're not a communications major, you do have the ability to um, join the, cl the club right from the beginning of freshman year. Um, so if you, let's say you're interested in political science, you could host a political science talk show. Um, so even if you're not a comm major, you still can become involved. Um, all right, so our next college is the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Um, this is probably our biggest college at the university in terms of the number of majors that we have to offer, um, as well as the number of students that are within this college. Our most popular major at the university is uh, psychology. Um, and that's kind of twofold for students who want to get into, you know, the become a psychologist, psychiatrist, or for students that want to go into education. And we'll talk a little bit about why that is in just a moment. We have other majors in this college, such as history, English, sociology, uh, political science, languages. Um, so there's a wide variety of things that students can do. And all of those majors do offer uh, hands-on experiences um, depending on what you're looking to do. A lot of the majors are, are pretty broad, so it, you can go into so many different fields um, with those majors and be able to you know, come out with a great career after. Um, with the psychology program specifically, again, because that is our most popular major in the, um, the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, we do have a neuropsychology lab where students can get that hands-on experience with research, um, either on their own or with a professor as well. 
So next we have our College of Education. So like Tyler said before, we were founded as a school for teachers. So the College of Ed is truly um, a big part of who we are as an institution. Now, like I said before, uh, some of our education majors will use psychology as their secondary major. And all education majors have to have a second major in terms of a concentration for um, their uh, subject area, something along those lines. So with our three levels of education, you have early childhood, elementary, and secondary ed, um, you're gonna select a second major that goes along with the education. So if you're in interested in secondary, think of like the classes you take in high school, um, English, chemistry, bio, um, a math course, um, you know, history, all of those kind of things. Those could be your secondary major. Now for early childhood and elementary stu uh, education students, they could definitely go in that route as well, or they can do something like psychology or sociology. And that allows them to figure out where their students are more developmentally um, along the path instead of you know, one specific major. Um, so it all depends on what you're interested in and how you wanna go about it. Um, but the department will give you a lot of great hands-on experience and guidance to make sure that you are meeting all the criteria to get your full certification. Next is our College of Science and Health. Um, and this is kind of broken into two parts as well. You have your lab sciences. So things like biology, chemistry, physics, um, uh, sports medicine, mathematics, all that kind of stuff. And then you have the health sciences. So our nursing program, communication disorders, and our public health. Um, we do have two separate buildings, so they are separated by lab science and health sciences, um, which means that we're able to specialize the facilities in each of those buildings. So anyone interested in the lab sciences, you have great opportunity to do your own research, to do research alongside of one of our professors. Um, I know a student from the environmental science program, um, they were doing research with a professor, and they actually got published in a professional journal. Uh, while they were in their undergrad because of the experience and exposure they were able to get. And so it's a great opportunity for those students to, you know, have that potential there. And when you're looking for, let's say, grad school or a job opportunity, you have um, something to say like, hey, I did this already and this is why you should hire me. Um, so we're really preparing our students well in that area. And then again, with our health sciences, nursing is our most competitive program at the university besides our jazz program. Um, we are going to go over the requirements for the nursing program in just a little bit, um, but we offer some great hands-on experience with the program as well. We have uh, simulation labs on campus so students can work within, it, within a hospital setting before actually going out into a physical hospital. And then we also have, uh, with our communication disorder program, a um, clinic on campus. So students are able to get clinic hour experiences uh, right here on campus. So, you know, you can go from class to clinic, back to class. So it makes it really easy and convenient for you to do that as well. We do have um, our sports medicine program, which is a newer program at the university. And that's a five-year uh, master's program. So you get a bachelor's and master's all in one. Um, and it gives you full certification to go into athletic training as well. And our last college is the Kosakos College of Business. Um, I would say this is our smallest college in terms of how many majors are offered here. However, um, there's a lot of great things that students can do within this. Um, you have uh, majors such as accounting, economics, finance, financial planning, uh, professional sales, marketing management, anything you can think of with business we have to offer. We are fully accredited um, and the accreditation that we have, about 5% of business schools in the country have this accreditation. Um, so we are part of that 5%. So again, it goes back to that top-notch education with uh, an affordable price that you're going to get at William Patterson. Because of how close we are to New York City, we have some great opportunities for students to do internships or, or get some jobs. Uh, all of our College of Business students are required to do at least one to two internships during their time at William Patterson, um, whereas many of our students actually graduate with like three or four internships under their belt. Um, so again, a lot of experiences and exposure. And then you also have the opportunity to connect all of this to a five-year MBA. So you could actually do your master's program in five years instead of six, which allows you to save some time as well as some money going through the, um, the process there. 
Now I'm going to switch it over to Kyle so she can um, go over how to apply to the university. So applying to William Patterson is actually a very easy process. The first step is really to submit your application online. We have our own William Patterson application on our website, but we are also partnered with Common App if you prefer. Second would be to request your official transcript to be sent to us electronically. Also, if you are interested in our nursing program, please have those test scores for your SATs or ACTs sent to us directly from College Board or ACT. As a reminder to all applicants, the essay or the personal statement is optional. So it is your preference if you would like to share that material with us. Lastly, the application fee is waived by campus visit. Either in person or virtual can count. Um, and it's a good way for you to see other things William Patterson has to offer as well. After you apply, um, you will receive an application acknowledgement email. You should get it two to three business days after you hit submit. You will be given a student ID and next steps to complete your application. This is also a way for you to check your daily status to see if you have received your transcript. Please note that documents take up to two weeks to be posted to the student's application after our office has received it. Um, some additional applications would have to be our Honors College, our EOF program, and any students interested in pursuing music or our BFA art program. So with those special admissions requirements, um, the BFA program requires a portfolio review um, this review should include 10 to 12 different pieces of art from the student to really showcase their skill set um, as they are applying to our BFA program. Um, students who may not have had the strongest portfolio review in the beginning will be switched to Art Studio and then given the chance to build up their portfolio to change their major down the road. For any students who are interested in our music program, as uh, mentioned earlier, it is all audition based. Jazz, they do require recording of your audition and classical traditionally asks for in person audition. However, given the current pandemic, um, students will have the option to either do in person or to submit via virtually um, an audition. For students interested in nursing, um, they do require the test score of either 1130 on the SATs or a 23 on the ACTs, as well as a 3.0 GPA, and nothing lower than a B in biology or chemistry. So honors college. Um, this honors college uh, is meant to take students who are already used to honors, AP, or IB classes already in high school. So you're familiar with the rigorous coursework. Um, students always ask us, you know, what are the exact requirements for the Honors College? Um, and we always tell them that the Honors College reviews and uh, we can just tell you the averages based off the last group of freshmen they've accepted. So here on the screen, you can see the average GPA for an Honors student was a 3.6 unweighted GPA, as well as a 1233 on the SATs or a 27 on the ACTs. Now, this is just the average. Um, again, if you fall within um, the middle 50%, as you can see here, definitely apply if you are interested. It is a great way for you to continue doing honors level work, as well as if you are interested in research and working alongside faculty um, to do something within a field of interest of yours. So if you are admitted to the honors college, there are some scholarship opportunities, as well as if you're not interested in honors, there are other um, academic scholarships available for you. So we are happy to announce that for general freshman scholarships, we have gone test optional. So what this means is if you apply to William Patterson, send us your transcript, and your transcript shows us that you have at least a 3.5 GPA unweighted, um, you will be automatically considered for an academic scholarship. Um, so we always encourage students to apply early, send us your stuff early so that you can be notified early if you qualify for something. Beyond that, um, as I mentioned earlier, the Honors College. If you are admitted to the Honors College, you will also be provided a $4,000 per year scholarship. Um, that is also 
dependent on your application to the admissions team and the honors department as well. And lastly, talent scholarships. For any students uh, within art and uh, music, the department has the opportunity to grant you talent scholarship money. Important deadlines. Um, so this is a great uh, basically overview of deadlines for any students interested in scholarships, nursing, honors, music, um, and financial aid. Um, so I would definitely screenshot this if it, you are able to do so. Otherwise, you could always pull up our recording after we finish this um, to see that you are meeting all the deadlines, especially the scholarship one. So at William Patterson, we are known for providing exceptional value in education to students since our founding in 1855. We're proud to say that we have held tuition increases to 2% or lower in the last five years. And our tuition is very affordable. As you can see here on the screen, um, full tuition as well as room and board is approximately 24,923. And um, this does not include yet financial aid. We're also proud to share that we are offering in-state tuition rates for out-of-state students, as well as international students. So funding your education. So we always tell students, complete your FAFSA and your NJ FAMS as soon as possible. And um, as of October 1st, I believe the FAFSA is made available to students and their families. When you complete this, um, you will be notified by financial aid department if you are eligible for any grants, scholarships, work study, or student loans. So definitely complete it as soon as possible. Pledge for success. This is a new program founded by our university president to assist students who are eligible for full state and federal grant support. So this program is meant to cover any cost or gaps um, that may not be filled and um, this allows students to focus on their courses rather than paying um, for their tuition or any additional costs. So at William Patterson, we always like to say that our greatest strength is helping you find yours. We are a place where you explore your interests, discover your passion, and realize your potential. We hope you will make William Patterson your first choice for college, and we can't wait to see you in person on campus as soon as it's safe and possible. And here is some contact information um, for the freshman counselors. So feel free to jot down our emails or text us as you guys are all doing this college search process. We'd be happy to answer any of the questions. And lastly, thank you again for joining us. Um, and we will try to address the Q&A if there are any questions. I just want to mention that um, we do have many options for virtual tours as well as in-person tours too. Um, so if you are interested and uh, looking a little bit more in depth at William Patterson, um, we do have virtual tours that go on four times a week. We have uh, in-person tours that happen four times a week as well. And then we have our virtual open house coming up on October 18th. Um, any of those events, if you're able to attend, will be able to waive your application fee for you when you go to apply. Um, so I highly encourage that you um, take a look at that information. If you haven't registered already, you can just search campus visit on our website and you'll be able to find it there. Um, so we hope you take advantage of that. And again, if you have any other questions, feel free to put that into the Q&A and we'd be happy to answer those for you tonight. Okay, so it looks like there's a question about a five-year education program. Um, right now, we do not have a five-year education program um, with the 
uh, with any of the programs that we have to offer for education. So um, it is a traditional bachelor's degree, so a four-year degree, and then you need to go on for the master's later on. Um, you would double major in mathematics, um, and you would have to select either doing a secondary ed, so like the middle school, high school, or doing the elementary or, or, or middle or um, uh, early childhood. So you would need to, to figure out which area you'd rather teach, and then that would be your secondary major. Okay, so there's another question. Um, do we have any scholarship opportunities for undocumented students? Um, so the uh, scholarships that we have to offer at William Patterson are all merit-based. So undocumented students can qualify for those, those scholarships. Um, you can also fill out uh, the NJ FAMS has an alternative um, do, uh, paper or page that you can fill, fill out. Um, so it allows you to qualify for New Jersey state aid, um, but obviously at the federal level that would not qualify there. And are there any study abroad opportunities? Yes, um, we have plenty of study abroad opportunities at the university. Um, we have, you know, the international, the traditional international study abroad. So if you want to, um, you know, go to Spain, go to China, um, go to Europe or Italy or whatever it is, um, we have so many places that you could go with that. Um, you know, and if there isn't something that <clears throat> we're offering at the moment, um, we will make sure that you are connected with a school um, that may be offering that trip for that semester. Um, the other thing we have is a national student exchange. So let's say you want to avoid the cold weather one spring semester and you want to go out to California. Um, I wish I did that, honestly. <laughs> um, you know, and so that would be a way that you would do an exchange with a school out in California. I know one of our student ambassadors did that one summer and he did, uh, I don't remember what school exactly he went to, um, but he did classes in robotics because he was a computer science major. Um, so he was able to have that bring uh, transferred back to be with some of his upper level courses. So, um, you know, there are a lot of opportunities to do that. And the best thing about it too, is that um, when you go to one of these other schools, you're going to be a William Patterson student regardless. So you're going to pay our tuition and then you pay the room and board for the, play, the place that you're going. Um, so it makes it a lot more affordable and easier to, to manage if you wanted to go internationally or even nationally as well. Hey, Tyler, do you want to just talk about the EOF program for a little bit? Sure. Um, I am actually the EUF liaison, so I basically coordinate between the undergraduate admissions office and the EUF program. Um, with our EUF program, there is a six-week mandatory summer session, which our students are required to participate in. A lot of students will ask, how, did, how was it handled this year um, with the pandemic and everything? Basically, traditionally, our students would be on campus from Sunday night to Thursday night, and then they would go home on the weekends. However, this year with the pandemic, everything was conducted virtually. Um, with that being said, though, the summer session is completely paid for in full and traditionally students will be receiving a, a minimum of about three college level credits. So they're going to be ahead of everyone um, with the EOF program, though, as I said, it's completely covered for the summer session is completely covered for. So they're going to cover for the tuition, the books, the housing, all that fun stuff that will all be taken care of depending upon uh, the fall semester when the student decides whether they want to commute or if they want to live on campus. If they're going to be a commuter student, they'll be given $600 $675 a semester, um, and it's up to them how they want to use it. And if they're a resident student, they'll be given $775 a semester. The reason that our resident students get a higher um, award package is because they obviously have to pay for the housing cost. So that's why their package is a little bit higher. Um, our program's really, really great. The students do have a EOF counselor who was there from them the start of their freshman year all the way to the end of their senior year. And they form such great connections that they really do become a family. Um, so it is a really, really great question. If anyone has any specific questions about the EOF program, you're more than welcome to reach out to me directly. And I would be happy to connect you with um, one of the assistant directors in the EOF program. So we had another question. If it uh, if someone's a transfer, would they uh, there be a fee waiver if you attend the virtual tour? Absolutely. Um, 
the any virtual tours, in-person tours, virtual open house, all of those fee waivers count for all of our students. Um, so just know that it's not restricted only to our freshman students, that is available for our transfer students and advanced standing students as well. Um, if you are interested in transferring from the university, we can take up to 60 credits from a two-year school or 90 credits from a four-year school. Um, and we would need every uh, college transcript you have from every school you've attended since graduating high school. Um, so even if you went for one semester or one class, we would need that transcript. We receive, once we receive all of those, those go to one of our transfer counselors and then it gets evaluated for um, the number of credits that we can, um, we can bring in, okay? When you're accepted, you'll receive a degree audit and that will show um, your classes you've taken, how that fits into our curriculum, and then also what classes you still need to complete. If you're finishing an associate's degree, I highly encourage you to apply because at per law, we have to take all of your credits in and you're automatically gonna start as a junior status. Um, so it definitely makes it a, a really easy for students to transfer in and continue on uh, with their degree moving forward. Okay, we got another question. What is the average NCLEX rate um, for William Patterson? Um, our NCLEX rate is actually 98% uh, um, with a pass rate. So our students are doing very, very well um, once they graduate and move on. Um, we just had a student graduate um, that worked in our office um, she graduated in May. She passed her NCLEX, I think, June, maybe. And by, like, the end of July, she had a full-time job, you know. So um, they're really preparing our students to do well, especially in the nursing field. Um, so, you know, they are going to make sure that you're going to be set up for success um, moving forward with that. Okay, so I currently attend a tech school where I get college, um, take college credits during my senior year. Does William Patterson accept those credits earned from, from incoming freshmen? Um, Kyle, do you want to answer that one? Sure. Um, so the admissions team will can definitely take a look at your college credits. We just need a transcript from the college or university that you are completing those courses with. Um, so once we receive the official transcript, then we will do a degree evaluation and update your application and file uh, to reflect that you have completed those courses. Great question. Yeah, and all we need is a C or above to be able to transfer your credits. So, you know, as long as you get, you're getting a C or above, you'll be able to take those credit, um, credits with you to William Patterson. Okay, while we wait for a couple more questions, I'm just going to put our contact information back up here. So if you do have any questions, um, you can reach out to us. We are uh, separated our uh, section off based on what our recruitment territories are. Um, so definitely take a look at what county you're from and then you can uh, contact your counselor. If you forget, contact any of us and we'd be happy to help you with any questions you may have. Um, same thing for any transfer students. Um, feel free to contact any of us here and we'd be happy to answer those questions for you. Um, and if I can't answer it, I will find someone to answer it for you. So don't you worry. Um, so, you know, please make sure to be in touch with us throughout this year for sure. Um, you know, it's a different year in how things are working with everything going on with COVID. Um, so there's going to be a lot more questions, a lot more uncertainty. Please make sure to contact us, reach out to us. We're here to help you, even if it's not for, you know, questions about William Patterson, but about the college search or I don't know how to fill out my FAFSA, reach out to us. We know people who can help you, even if it's not our office. We know many other offices that will be able to help you and support you through this time. Um, so don't be afraid to ask any questions that you may have. OK. 
Okay. So I don't see any other questions coming through. So if there aren't any, um, we can wrap up for tonight. Um, again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Again, you have our contact info. So if there are any questions, you, you know, you sign out of here and you realize, oh my God, I forgot to ask this. Please reach out to us. We're happy to help you, um, you know, and good luck with your college search process. We know you can do it. It's going to be tough, but we'll be here for you. Don't worry. Have a great night. Thank you, Tyler, Kyle, and Melissa. We appreciate you coming in and spending some time with the students and answering questions that they have. And I can't fully, uh, I can't put into words how much I totally support what Melissa just said. It is so important for you all to reach out to the schools and colleges, ask the questions that you have, knowledge is power. And our goal is to get you to the school or college where you're going to be happiest. So please take advantage of the resources that William Patterson representatives are offering you tonight. So one last uh, bit of information I wanna share with you. I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see uh, what we're looking for you to do. Um, if you're looking to complete the session tonight, we're hoping that you'll be able to take a quick survey. We also are hoping that you will be able to sign up for more sessions through the nijackact.org slash virtual fair website. And then there are also recordings available. So they'll be recorded and available to you again through that exact same website. So www.nijackact.org slash virtual fair. Thank you all so much again for your time tonight. Have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of the, the events happening. Take care.